Like we said, it is the season of giving. Let's get our Thanksgiving Day forecast. <laughs> Jacqueline, it's yeah. quiet and calm, so it seems to be a pleasant one tomorrow. Yeah, we're looking at a really nice day for the entirety of Thanksgiving. If you're the kind of person that heads out early to smoke the turkey, you'll definitely want those layers. We've got a chilly start out there, 42 degrees at 9 a.m. By 3 p.m., temperatures are in the mid-50s, a little bit cooler than maybe some recent Thanksgivings, but still very comfortable and dry. Today, we still have a few showers to get through, though. It's breezy, it's cool. We've got some fog out there and that'll lift once the breeze starts to pick up for us and the holiday weekend afterwards, mostly cool and dry. We've got uh, lots, we got some rain in our area still, some showers sprinkling in from time to time. We're looking at visibility now and anytime we get down below a mile of visibility, that's when I start to be concerned. So our updated number is there, three quarters of a mile in Reedsville and half a mile in North Wilkesboro. When those winds pick up though, that'll lift some of that fog out. We continue to see a couple of showers through the morning and into the afternoon. 30% chance for showers as we look towards the later part of the day and then we'll start to see some sun peak out, believe it or not, into the foothills temperatures in the upper 50s with some showers in the morning and then a breeze into the afternoon at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Mountain locations, upper 40s, winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, a couple of showers into the morning hours, but later in the day we'll end up with drier skies and seeing some sun from time to time as well. As we look at our hour by hour forecast, you can see those showers once they clear out and they're not really followed by anything. Of course, I have it zoomed out so you can see your holiday travel if you are headed out of town. And if you are looking towards uh, Sunday into Monday to return, well, we could have some messy weather in parts of the northeast and even some rain making it down towards the mountains at the very least and potentially into the Piedmont Triad. Slight showers. I don't think it'll affect most of us here because of that timing late Sunday into early Monday, but it's something to keep in mind. And of course, all of this rain yesterday helped us out so much. We are at low fire danger through the Triad Foothills and Mountains. It's been a long time since we've seen a fire, rating, a fire danger rating that looked this favorable. But I got to tell you, by tomorrow, we're back to moderate. We don't have any significant rain chances in the seven day forecast to help us. So we could be ending up talking more about fire danger here in the next few weeks. Thank you for the update, Jacqueline. Time to check traffic at 611 for folks if you are.